to after over 10 years of not having seen my family. And because of the loss of communication during the flight, I didn't even know that there was a war. But of course I found out, and after waiting over a decade and flying for over 40 hours, I reached the border of Palestine just to be told to turn around and go back. And since this war, I cannot even keep track of how much I have lost. I have family that died, of course, as everyone now has. Within the first few days, my second cousin, who was the reason I was able to leave Palestine in the first place, was murdered when his house was blown up as a casualty of them targeting the house next to him. The last contact I had with him, he was begging me to go home, begging me to not come to Palestine, telling me that I could come and see him and see my family again another time when it was better. My aunt, who spent three years fighting cancer, she had one more chemo session left and she was done. They bombed the hospital three days before her appointment, the only chemo hospital in Palestine. And then Israel denied her the right to leave Palestine for medical aid. And by the time they approved the leave, seven months later, it was too late. They forced her to leave without her family, without her husband, without her kids, alone, sick. And the next thing we know, we get a call from Turkey telling us that it's too late, that the cancer's come back, that it's everywhere. And there's nothing they can do and that she died. She died in a foreign country. She died alone. She died sick. She died in pain. And her family couldn't even be with her. And that is Israel's fault. We will never know what happened to her. We don't know if they buried her. We don't know where she is. We don't know anything. Her family doesn't know anything. To this day, she won't count as part of the death toll that Israel has inflicted on us. Because